Welcome back. Today's topic is how we can find the argument of a complex number easily. Now let us see some steps how we can find argument of set very easily and very fast. The first step is we are going to say that the complex number z is equal to x plus i y. This time kya nikalenge uske dono coordinates mil jayenge humko. Dusri cheez hai we will see ki wo jo z hai wo kis quadrant mein lie karta hai. First, second, third year, fourth. Iske baad aayega we will find the value for theta 0 or 90 ke beech mein. Kis tarah se? By using this uh, equation tan theta equal to modulus of phi upon x. Or fir iske baad hum kya karin? We'll find the value for argument z using this table. Let us see with the help of example. We have to find the argument of z jaha pe x is minus 1 and y is also minus 1. To iske do coordinates kya mil gaya Minus 1 and minus 1. Now what you have to see is as the rule says find ki jo z hai wo kis quadrant mein lie karta hai. Kyunki dono values kya hai? Minus hai. x bhi minus hai, y bhi minus hai. So this will lie in third quadrant. Agla step hai. We will find tan theta equals to y upon x ka modulus. This is equal to minus 1 upon minus 1 ka modulus. This will be equal to 1 up we know that 1045 is equal to 1 so theta ki value kya aage? pi upon 4 this is the value for theta or jo ki 0 or pi by 2 ke beech mein aari hai ab hume kya karna we will find the value for argument of z this is not the value for argument we are going to find it now kya karenge kyunki humara z third quadrant mein lie kar raha hai so we are going to see third quadrant mein argument ki value kya hogi it will be pi plus theta. So, we will write this argument z equals pi plus theta. What is theta equal to? Pi upon 4 and this will be equal to 5 pi upon 4. So, this is going to be the value for argument z. One more example. Hai. z equal to minus 1 plus root 3 i. Its coordinates kya hai? minus 1 and root 3. So, what will quadrant mein lie karega? Since x is minus or y plus hai, so it will lie in the second quadrant. Iske baad hum kya karte hai? We find the value for tan theta that is modulus of y upon x. Ye value kya ho jayegi? y is root 3 upon minus 1. This is root 3. We know that tan 60 is root 3. Therefore, theta is equal to pi upon 3. Now, argument z will be pi minus theta. Since we have this table, our second quadrant mein hai, therefore we will take argument z equal to this value and this will come out to be pi minus pi upon 3. That will be 2 pi upon 3. After finding the argument, next comes how to find the principal value of argument z? Principal value sabse pehli cheez hoti kya hai? It is that value of argument z which satisfies the inequality minus pi less than theta less or equal to plus pi. That means yadi theta ki value minus pi or plus pi ke beech mein aati hai that value will be called the principal value of argument z. Now the two cases arise yadi iski value uske Bahar aati hai, tab kya hoga? Pahla case yadi hum leke chalte hai, that if argument z is greater than pi, tab hum kya karenge? Jo bhi argument ki value aari, usme se hum 2 pi ko subtract karenge. Dousra case kya aata hai? Value of argument is less than minus pi. Tab hum kya karenge? We will add 2 pi to it. Let us see. In the first case, we have seen z equal to minus 1 minus i is me argument ki value kitni thi that was equal to 5 pi upon 4 ye jo value hai ye kya hai ye pi se badi hai it is greater than pi principal value of argument z will be 5 pi upon 4 minus 2 pi that is minus 3 pi upon 
4. This will be the principal value of argument z. Another case was z equal to minus 1 plus root 3 i. In this case, mein, the value for argument z was 2 pi upon 3. Now, this value hai, it is less than pi and greater than minus pi. So, it is lying within this range of minus pi to plus pi. Therefore, this value with this itself will be the principal value of argument z. ये cases हम सिर्फ तभी apply करेंगे जब argument की uh, argument z की value will come beyond this range, not within it. अंदर है तो that value itself will be the principal value of argument z.